Before we jump into the declaration, it is more prominent and convincing to figure out what subatomic gas pedals are. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-meter ring of superconducting magnets. Furthermore, it is the world's most prominent and vital particle smasher. This is the pinnacle of human achievement. In actuality, it is so powerful that it might replicate the precise circumstances in the first second of the universe. However, could a machine designed to unlock the secrets of the universe hold the key to something genuinely extraordinary? Established in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most renowned research institutions, with 23 member states and countless scientists. It is a hub for collaboration and innovation. The LHC is CIN's primary endeavor, but it is just one piece of a vast network of accelerators and experiments. Think of it as a racetrack, not for people or engines, but for subatomic particles in a test of speed, energy, and the very fabric of space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that mimics the energy conditions of the universe just after the Big Bang. These impacts create temperatures far hotter than the center of the sun. A massive number of magnets guide the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures colder than space. The proton beams in the LHC collide at four locations around the accelerator ring, corresponding to four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, and LHCB. Each serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. Together, they act as massive cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Scientists then sift through the resulting particles, searching for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also called the God particle, and other phenomena that could provide insights into the universe's fundamental building blocks. We gain, by concentrating on the microcosm, knowledge about the macrocosm. Yet with every answer comes a new question, and with every discovery, another challenge arises. The LHC is more than just a scientific tool. It's a testament to human curiosity and progress. It embodies our quest for understanding and our desire to grasp the fundamental forces that shape the universe. However, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the deeper and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of probing the unknown? Could our pursuit of knowledge inadvertently unleash forces or concerns that are sacred and beyond our control? In the halls where the boundaries of human knowledge are constantly tested, a revelation has emerged that has left even seasoned scientists uneasy. Brian Cox, a former CERN scientist and a prominent voice in particle physics, recently made a statement that has both fascinated and unsettled the world. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The purpose of the Large Hadron Collider is to recreate a small Big Bang. Yes, you heard that correctly, a miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. The physicist further explained the implications of this goal, highlighting the remarkable features of the LHC and its potential for groundbreaking discoveries. This includes its ability to unlock the secrets of the Higgs boson and probe dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up a significant portion of the universe. Imagine harnessing the power of creation itself, the ability to summon the very essence of the cosmos. It is a tantalizing possibility, but one fraught with risk. The miniature Big Bang isn't just a theoretical concept, it's a very real phenomenon within the LHC. The pressures, temperatures, and unprocessed energy involved mimic the conditions of the universe's inception. It's like standing at the very beginning of existence itself. Yet with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong. Back in 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a life-changing incident while working at the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Protvino, Russia. A malfunction caused his head to accidentally enter the direct proton beam path. The beam, with unimaginable energy, passed through his skull, entering at the back and exiting through his nose. Bugorsky described seeing a flash brighter than a thousand suns but felt no immediate pain. The beam's path left a trail of destruction, burning both bone and tissue. Despite this, he remained conscious and even walked to the medical center for treatment. The aftermath was both disturbing and surreal. The beam caused localized tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, Bugorsky's cognitive abilities remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident serves as a reminder of the enormous power, and potential dangers, associated with particle accelerators. The risks of a machine like the LHC should not be underestimated. Concerns about catastrophic reactions and changes in the fundamental structure of life are not mere science fiction, but real considerations raised by respected scientists. 
One of the most unsettling issues surrounding the LHC experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are immense vacuums, devourers of stars and enigmatic entities lurking in the shadows of our universe. The idea that the LHC could potentially create one of these phenomena, even on a small scale, is both inspiring and alarming. Could such a black hole grow uncontrollably, consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and vanish almost immediately. Notwithstanding, the remote possibility has sparked debates, fears, and a sense of wonder about the power we wield. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole it all comes down to the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons collide at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is immense, so immense, in fact, that it can mimic the energy densities present during the universe's earliest moments. This energy, concentrated into an incredibly small volume, creates conditions under which theoretical predictions suggest a microscopic black hole could form. However, such black holes, according to Hawking radiation theory, would evaporate almost instantaneously, releasing energy and particles as they disintegrate. This theoretical safety net provides reassurance to many scientists, yet it remains a topic of ongoing debate in the physics community. Despite reassurances, the mere idea of creating black holes or probing such extreme realms of physics is a double-edged sword. It speaks to humanity's insatiable curiosity and drive to understand the universe, but it also forces us to confront uncomfortable questions about the ethical implications of such experiments. Our understanding and forces us to confront the unknown. As collisions occur and data is gathered, scientists are not only searching for answers but also refining the very questions they ask. Each discovery brings humanity one step closer to grasping the deepest truths of existence, what matter is, how forces interact, and perhaps even why the universe exists at all. Yet, this pursuit is not without controversy. Critics argue that while the LHC represents an incredible scientific milestone, it also underscores the limits of human foresight. When dealing with energies and conditions that have not existed since the dawn of time, how can we be certain that we have anticipated every possible outcome? For example, some have speculated on the potential for vacuum decay, a hypothetical event where the universe transitions to a lower energy state, obliterating everything in its path. Although the probability of this is vanishingly small, it represents a class of existential risk that is difficult to quantify. And therein lies the philosophical tension, at what point does the pursuit of knowledge demand moral restraint? Nonetheless, the LHC has already delivered transformative insights. The confirmation of the Higgs boson in 2012, for instance, helped validate the standard model of particle physics, a framework that describes three of the four known fundamental forces in the universe. It was a crowning achievement, yet it also highlighted the theory's limitations, particularly its inability to account for dark matter, dark energy, and gravity at quantum scales. This gap is precisely where the LHC continues to probe. Scientists hope it may one day uncover supersymmetric particles, evidence for extra dimensions, or even signatures of string theory. Each of these would fundamentally alter our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Yet, the farther we go, the more profound the questions become. Could consciousness have quantum origins? Is reality continuous or discrete? Could our universe be just one of many in a vast multiverse? The LHC, in its colossal and elegant design, stands as a physical expression of humanity's refusal to settle for surface-level explanations. In the end, the Large Hadron Collider is more than an instrument. It is a bridge, a bridge between what we know and what we have yet to discover. It reflects the best of human curiosity and ingenuity while reminding us of our responsibility to wield that power with humility. As we look toward future upgrades and the eventual construction of even more powerful colliders, such as the proposed future circular collider, the ethical, philosophical, and existential implications will only grow. Will we find a unified theory of everything? Will we solve the riddle of dark matter or uncover new particles that defy our understanding of physics? Only time, and data, will tell. Human knowledge. Tests the limits of our control over the natural world, as collisions between particles replicate conditions hidden since the Big Bang. The importance of these experiments grows, raising existential concerns regarding the potential effects of altering the universe's very fabric. As the LHC continues to explore uncharted realms of physics, it invites us to question not only the nature of the universe but our place within it. If the experiments being conducted could uncover profound secrets, insights into the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos, 
these discoveries may challenge preconceived notions and could transform our understanding of everything from the smallest particles to the vast expanse of the universe itself. However, with such powerful tools at their disposal, scientists are well aware of the responsibility that comes with pushing the boundaries of knowledge. The LHC's capabilities make it one of the most advanced instruments ever built, capable of simulating conditions similar to those just moments after the Big Bang. This opens the door to a deeper investigation of quantum mechanics, the key to dark matter, and the Higgs boson, components that may explain the origins of the universe and the forces that shape its evolution. Yet this power also raises fundamental moral and philosophical questions. If the LHC were to unlock new dimensions or create unknown phenomena, what are the broader consequences? Could our pursuit of knowledge inadvertently lead to unforeseen risks, altering the balance of nature or triggering catastrophic events? These are not questions that can be answered easily, and the answers may be elusive for some time. The scientific community continues to be wary, but also optimistic. The potential rewards of the LHC's research far outweigh the risks. We are standing at the precipice of a new era in physics, where the veil of mystery surrounding the universe may begin to lift. The LHC is a beacon of human eagerness and determination, demonstrating our desire to understand the cosmos at its most fundamental level. Ultimately, the Large Hadron Collider is not just a tool for scientific discovery, it's a symbol of human endeavor. It is a symbol of our collective desire to push beyond the known, to seek answers to questions that have long puzzled us. Whether it's unlocking the secrets of dark matter, gaining new perspectives, or simply expanding our understanding of the universe, the LHC serves as a reminder that despite the risks, humanity's quest for knowledge is an essential part of our evolution. As we venture further into this new frontier, the questions will keep expanding, and so will the discoveries. The LHC's journey is far from over. And with each experiment, we are one step closer to understanding the deepest mysteries of the universe. While the road ahead may be uncertain, the potential for discovery is limitless, and the pursuit of that knowledge is perhaps one of the most important endeavors humanity can undertake. As the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, continues its groundbreaking work, it also raises questions that extend beyond the realm of pure science. While the potential for revolutionary discoveries in particle cosmology, quantum mechanics, and physics is immense, the ethical implications of these experiments are becoming more apparent. As humanity pushes the boundaries of knowledge, the moral responsibilities of those conducting such high-stakes research cannot be ignored. The LHC not only explores the nature of the universe at its most fundamental level, but also presents us with questions about our role in the cosmos. In a sense, the LHC represents the cutting edge of scientific thought. It embodies humanity's insatiable curiosity and desire to conquer the unknown. Yet it also brings to light a significant paradox. The same tool that could answer the most profound questions about the universe's origins could also potentially cause unintended consequences. The tension between risk and discovery is not new, but the scale and ambition of the LHC make these concerns particularly pressing. The LHC's experiments are based on the principle that by understanding the very building blocks of matter, we can gain insights into the forces that govern the universe. However, these experiments delve into realms of physics that challenge even the most established theories. The creation of microscopic black holes, as one example, presents a paradox. Despite the fact that theoretical models predict their rapid evaporation through Hawking radiation, the fact that this process is merely conceptual means that uncertainty still linger. Could these tiny black holes behave differently than anticipated, with the potential for unforeseen consequences? As the LHC explores phenomena such as dark matter and the Higgs boson, it also opens doors to the possibility of discovering new forces of nature. The discovery of these unknown forces would forever change our understanding of the universe. However, the potential dangers of unlocking such forces are profound. Could they result in destabilizing existing structures of space-time, or even the creation of environments that defy the laws of physics as we know them? While scientists remain confident in the safety of the experiments, the possibility of the unexpected continues to cast a shadow over the LHC's legacy. In light of these risks, one might wonder whether it is responsible to continue conducting experiments that could alter the fundamental laws of nature. However, it is essential to recognize that scientific progress is often achieved through the investigation of the unknown. History is full of examples where the pursuit of knowledge has resulted in both positive and negative consequences, yet progress was ultimately made. With the LHC, the benefits of discovery may far outweigh the risks, provided that ethical behavior and security guidelines are followed. At the heart of this debate lies a fundamental question. Is humanity prepared to confront the potential consequences of its own curiosity? 
As scientists continue to explore the deepest mysteries of the universe, they must strike a balance between the pursuit of knowledge and an understanding of the broader implications of their work. The LHC is not merely a tool for scientific advancement. It serves as a reminder of the responsibility that comes with investigating the unknown. It calls upon humanity to consider not just what we can discover, but what we should. In this delicate balance between ambition and caution, the future of high-energy physics unfolds. The Large Hadron Collider stands not only as a monument to our engineering brilliance but also as a mirror reflecting our deepest philosophical dilemmas. Every proton accelerated, every collision recorded, is a step further into the unknown, a leap of faith in the scientific method, and in our collective wisdom to wield such power responsibly. The discoveries yet to come may redefine our place in the universe. Concepts once confined to the realm of speculation, extra dimensions, parallel universes, the unification of all forces, may soon shift from theory to tangible reality. Such revelations could usher in technological revolutions, opening doors to energy sources, materials, and understandings previously unimaginable. But with this unprecedented potential comes a challenge, to ensure that our pursuit of knowledge remains tethered to ethics, foresight, and humility. The LHC is a tool, yes, but tools reflect the hands that wield them. Whether it becomes a beacon of progress or a cautionary tale depends on our collective choices. As governments, institutions, and individuals invest in the next generation of colliders and cosmic observatories, a broader dialogue is essential. Public understanding must grow alongside scientific advancement. Transparency, collaboration, and accountability will be vital in maintaining trust and ensuring that progress serves not just scientific curiosity, but the greater good. The story of the LHC is far from over. In its roaring tunnels, particles race not just toward discovery, but toward the very edge of what it means to be human, to question, to seek, and to understand. It is there, in that collision between the known and the unknown, that we may find our truest reflections, not only of the universe, but of ourselves.